What is up? It's Hobbyist First. I'm going to take a look at some Orc 3D prints from Gear Guts Mech Shop. I've got a bunch of painted stuff, and at the end I'll show you a couple of my work in progress pieces. So just give you a little backstory uh, for me with Gear Guts. I I've been doing uh, 3D printing for a number of years as uh, part of my job, but only really got into resin printing within the last, I would say, three or four months and went in with a group of friends and invested in a, a resin printer from Amazon, bought the curing and the wash station and set up a little uh, 3D print workshop. And uh, I gotta say, I've been been very impressed with the quality that I'm able to get out of a uh, you know, $250 printer from, from Amazon that, that was up and running in about a half an hour. So uh, most of the stuff here was printed on the machine uh, in, my, in my studio, but a couple of the pieces I purchased from Gear Guts and uh, that was right before I got the machine over here. And I've also got a piece that was sent to me by Gear Guts himself as part of my uh, affiliate role with Gear Guts Mech Shop, which I'll, I'll talk a little bit about at the end as well. In the front, uh, we're looking at some Crusader orcs. So I'm using these as mega knobs. And you'll see, as the case with many of the um, models that I'll show you here, there's some... I don't want to say conversion, but there's been some um, additional bits added. So because my uh, main Space Marine army is Crimson Fists, I was very excited to and I got some Crimson Fists kicking around nearby. I just finished up, finish up some aggressors. So uh, be, because my main army is Crimson Fists, you know, I've got a lot of Crimson Fist bits available, and I wanted to add things like purity seals and, uh, and some packs and stuff uh, to these guys. So, uh, so you can see here, detail is really, really nice. Uh, I've got uh, a iron gob or jaw added from my bits box to make this guy stand out against the other one that is the same sculpt. So you got two of those. This guy's got uh, rockets added to his his uh, bolter and his, his combi uh, shooter. And see the other two here. They are the same sculpt, but I opted to throw some purity seals on there and make them stand out a little bit. And we'll call this the unit leader. Uh, he's got Pedro Cantor's or Pedro Cantork uh, back banner added to his pack and I added, uh, added another gun barrel to this just to combi it up and added a uh, bullet mag there, purity seal. So this is, uh, you can see the, the weathering on the power fist and uh, they've got They've got the orc glyph symbol for henchmen. I believe that's what it that's what it said in one of the older orc codexes I was looking at. So this is symbol for henchmen. This is like three 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 fingered fist, and then uh, he's got the the orc glyph for beaky uh, or for space marine. And uh, these guys just have an arrow because they saw it on the space marine source material, and uh, and we're, we're imitating some tactical marines that that they saw. This is the uh, this is my me this is my mega armor war boss, and this model is like the supposed to be the smash captain um, version of their the orc line. So uh, these were printed by Gear Guts, the the five troopers, and then I, I printed this one at home, and quality is is right there. But we're looking at guy with a relic crusher armor so he's got the jetpack and got a bloody boot where he's stomped somebody and he's launching off of this girder and you see the 
huge chopper, has rockets on it, and I got some checks here and there. You can see the, the energy, I guess, field part of the, the big hammer. So it's this glowing energy weapon that he's swinging, powered by rockets. So he's he's a mainstay in my force. Give him uh, him and the guys go in a truck and count his, or the the, the mega knobs are counting his truck boys, and he just gets out and runs alongside the truck until I figure something better out. This this is a definitely a hobby channel, not not a competitive play channel. Let's take a look at some Def Dreads now. This Def Dread also from the uh, Space Marine style Crusader line. And I feel this guy as a Def Dread uh, with three custom Mega Blasters. So this is the, the weapon that came with them. And then this gun here is from a Gear Guts upgrade pack. So I printed that gun separately and slapped it on the bottom. Uh, otherwise this built pretty much stock to what the Gear Guts piece was. And you can see on my bases too. Give me a second to look at those. My bases have rusted panels and stuff You're trying to to do neutral tones and uh, rusty metal battlefield some black scorch marks and occasionally some some blood um, some blood splats here and there on the ground so that one three custom mega blasters and a claw this one is four custom mega blasters because a friend of mine got a Necron army together within the last couple months, and I was like, well, blast weapon, I, I feel like this would be pretty good for taking out mass quantities of Necrons. And I played against a fair number of Necron armies in the summer escalation league that I was in. Um, you notice the camo uh, schemes on, on everybody are, are quite different. Blood Axe Force has a diverse camo, so I went with a base purple and then an off-white and I believe that's corn red as the camo splotches there. This guy is built, um, I say built stock, but he's he's got this uh, jaw part from the GW Def Dread kit and there's a couple spiky bits added to his feet. Why that's yellow, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But he's got, uh, he's got some, a couple extra bits added to him, but that's a custom Mega Blast uh, DACA Dread there. And this is one of the more recent Gear Guts models. This is his Def Dread with four Scorches. And this is built stock, uh, right right from the, n nothing modified from the kit. And it printed up pretty easy. <clears throat> Was able on my Elgu Mars um, 2 to get the body and legs printed on one plate and to get the, the weapons printed on another. And uh, yeah, it's a different camo scheme here. It's a type of tiger, tiger camo going on with a green skull in the middle and modified, not modified, but I posed him so that he looked like he was running. So I'm giving him the custom job of this. I believe that's a stompy matic pistons that allows him to get uh, additional movement and additional uh, advance. I forget, plus three movement, plus one advance, something like that. And <clears throat> rounding this out, here's a, a fallen dread. This this was printed on uh, in PLA uh, about a year ago, and I really didn't like how it came out. Like, the print quality wasn't great, so it's been just sitting around in my in my bits pile, and about a week ago, I took a piece of uh, board that was kicking around and made uh, made a wreck out of it. the The face plate and these these two bits those are from the actual Def Dread kit, so I, I enhanced the kit a little bit by adding those. But the, the chipped up paint and the, the messiness of it, I think, distracts from the the print lines and the kind of grossness that's there. In that print job, <clears throat> and I will show you. Gear, oops, I'll show you Gear Guts' newest uh, version of I say of himself, but Gear Guts has a um, couple of models called Gear Guts, and it's just this mega dude, which I suppose could could be used as a as a Gaz 
but uh, I heard a couple people say they were going to use this as a Mega Dread, which sounds awesome. So I think I think you'd get a lot more use for me as a Mega Dread because I'm not the I'm not the type that's going to be using Gaz probably. So this was sent to me by Gear Guts as part of his October 2021 initiative, and as an affiliate, uh, Gear Guts gave these uh, to the affiliates sooner than their release so that we had time to build and paint them to uh, debut them when October started. So as soon as I got mine, I got right to it. And you can see all the panels have camo on them. You got this massive gun. I'll show you Gear Guts face. Some array of lights and sensors up there massive claw bunch of pistons and worky bits back there checker pattern and show the top pile of skulls on his shoulder pad so, you know this 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 model is very very cool uh, it went together fairly easy without instructions it was intuitive uh, except for except for it took me a few minutes to figure out uh, without any instructions how all the the bullets went on but I I teach engineering and design, so I, I would hope I'm, I'm intelligent enough to figure something like that out. Uh, and then the last painted thing that I want to show you is my, my rocket rig. So interesting story about this thing. Uh, I, I was excited when I saw the Games Workshop preview where they were showing the kill rig and the new snagas and <clears throat> i immediately thought that's probably going to be way more expensive than what i want to spend when that kit comes out so it, it timed out just right that i got involved with gear guts right around the time that he released this thing so he showed it as a preview to patreons on his uh, discord which if you're not a patreon of gear guts and you play orcs and you have access to 3d printing I, uh, I highly, highly recommend it. It's it's ten bucks a month right now, and worth worth it for the twenty five or so releases that that he puts out per month. And you get access to previews, and you have the ability to you know request things. And and he is uh, he is open to uh, meeting demand of his of his uh, his his uh, supporters. So uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend that. But, but going back to this piece, he, he previewed this rig. Um, this, this is the, what is it, the Hunter rig, the, the, the one that no one's gonna take, and Kill rig, the one with the, the Whirr Tower, is uh, obviously far superior because it's a Psyker and all that stuff. But this, this was released first, so I, I jumped right on it and, and started printing. It took me maybe a week and a half to get all of these pieces set up for print printed out, cleaned, and to get this thing glued together. Uh, I believe he's since released an organic version of the squig, but for the first version, it was a, a mecha. Uh, he calls them dogosaurs, D-O-G-O, -O, dogosaur. So this is a mecha dogosaur. That's the that's the, the steed pulling it. And I'll show you here for my blood axe forest. We've got a tiger, purple tiger stripe camo on the dogosaur, and his eyes are some infernal glow going on there. But anyway, this this thing it looked awesome to me, and I knew I knew that I was going to build it, but I, I didn't want to build it stock. So I I, I went through Geargut's catalog on on his uh, website, and I found the the Bruiser. I don't know if I get the name wrong, wrong, but whatever. It's a, it's an orc rock band, and the there's been orc rock bands made before. GW made one, and a lot of the other. Uh, companies that make alternate orcs have versions of orc rock bands and 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 all are are unique and very cool in their own right and certainly something I would consider you know having like a battle of the bands and having multiple rigs with different bands on them so, to make use of those different those different uh, rocker sculpts but <clears throat> I, I, I I purchased the STLs and printed these guys these are printed at 96 percent because uh, some of his stuff is scaled larger than the GW version, 
and I wanted to make sure honestly that they fit in the spots that I had designated for them and um, you know not, not so much worried about them going on a base and not fitting with their dude standing next to them but I wanted them to fit on the platforms that were here so I'm, I'm glad I, I opted to do 96 percent so any of you that are, are building a rocker rig uh, just so you know that's that's what I went with for that scale <clears throat> and the model uh, is is all gear guts except for the drum stage and the sign and I'll show you what I did there uh, this this is the hood of a car model so you see the, the hood of a plastic kit and I just glued the, the drum kit and the drummer to it and that fits on there it, it was glued it got knocked off in transit from the store and then this this sign which is for mega def uh, zoom in so you can see that the mega def sign is a piece of of styrene uh, and just some sprue I trimmed up a piece of sprue and I put some paper clips in there Drilled, drilled holes in the in the floor of that and some paper clips to link the chains which is just some hobby chain that I got from Hobby Lobby so you know in in game I play this as the kill rig so it's got this lava it has a like a, a harpoon gun which you know is not modeled on there and I thought could I put the harpoon guy over here, but then I thought it would just it would break up the silhouette because you can see there's real nice symmetry here with the way the band is, and if you look at the side view, the chains give it a, a cool triangular profile, so it looks it looks sleek like that. And I added I added the chains just because I felt like the sign was something was lacking. I think that the chains uh, changed the profile just right to to kind of tie it all together as a as a design shape. But uh, anyway. Um, I got my blood axe stuff on there. You can see down in there, it's a blood axe symbol painted and is ambush camo on the gun. So it's like they took a, a blood axe vehicle and just took it over and the band adopted it. I'll get you closer to the, to the singer and stuff. You can see he's got a, a smoking cigar. I'm not focusing very well here. Show you the rest of the band. There's the bass player, and you've seen the guitar player already. There's the guitar player. So because it's mega def, I I went with just black because <clears throat> my research of pictures of the band mega def, uh, they're wearing black for all their stuff. So I wanted that to wanted that to appear to somebody that was familiar with mega def that these orcs are doing their name justice. Some other names that were tossed around were um, because it's Beast Naga is something that tie in with the Beastie Boys. And I also am a fan of Weezer. So I was thinking about Wazer. And if I ended up doing more bands, then I could see adding something like that in there. All right, let's just show you some of these work in progress things. I've got the uh, truck that still has the wheels and tracks. Uh, separate from it. This is a truck that um, was printed by Gear Guts and um, generously sent to me as part of my affiliate work. And here is a work in progress Squigasaur uh, Beast Boss. And I'm still getting the hang of, of resin printing and hollowing parts. And you can see here, there's a hole where I, I punched a hole right through the, the throat of this thing. And I started filling it in, filling it in with some uh, wood filler, what I had kicking around. And I had a little bit of, of resin leakage here, and then I cured it. And I'm not thrilled with that, but I'll, I'll paint it to look like drool or something coming out. So I think I'm going to paint all my squigs purple, just because uh, we're blood axes and purple is invisible or sneaky. So that'll, that'll tie in with the theme of my force. So that's everything there and plenty of more Gear Guts projects to do. I just downloaded the, the pack for the month. So I've got a lot more files at my disposal and I'm gonna be printing some stuff for a buddy of mine. Uh, he wants some more uh, Dogosaur riders, which are just the 
Swig Hog Riders that Gear Guts made. The sculpts are, look really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to printing those. So my affiliate position with Gear Guts uh, involves me uh, promoting promoting his his stuff on my uh, channel and in particular on Instagram where I do most of my work. I post almost daily on there. And uh, if, if people use a referral from me or they use my code hobbyist first, all one word, hobbyist first, uh, they can get a discount at Gear Guts and that would uh, help support uh, the work that I'm doing here to keep producing stuff and you know purchasing resin and, and buying paint and, and getting getting new new models together to to share with uh, with the community. So uh, happy October! Uh, this was produced in the middle of October, and uh, hope you get involved with Gear Guts if you're not already a uh, Patreon or. Uh, if you want to just check out some STLs or order physical models, there's a big sale going on right now on Gear Guts Mech Shop's website. If you go there, uh, the, the sale code is there. But at any point, please put in uh, code hobbyist first and uh, let's, let's, get some, let's get some more orc models brought to life. Take it easy. Thanks for checking out my stuff and talk to you soon.